Hello, this is the way that uh, Dr. Roy Greenberg would always do his glue embolizations, and I think it's a very good way to learn and do it safely. Um, you always come with one cc of NBCA glue. It's made by Cordis. And we always use the disposable blunt tip red needles. And the way he would always do it is, he uses his one cc syringe, and you have to make sure it's the hard plastic one, the poly acrylic, poly uh, carbonate. poly carbonate. That's it. <laughs> um, needle goes on it. You have to use a new needle and syringe for every step you do. The needle cap comes off. You pull, but don't squeeze the actual glue. The needle comes straight down through the top and into the corner of the metal and then you just lift up very slowly with your finger and you get one cc comes out and it goes in the mixing glass container white glass yeah, yeah. white okay. glass white glass white oh white glass oh so the um the oil and the glue tends to eat plastic that's the reason why we use this hard plastic syringes, the polycarbonate. If it's like this kind of plastic, it turns brittle almost immediately and will break before you even have a chance to inject it. So we used one cc there. This goes aside. We set this away, never use it again. We would then mix it with um, thiodol, which is, I think it's sunflower seed oil, if I remember right, mm -hmm. with um, iodine in it. We'll say, why, do, why does it have iodine in it? It has iodine in it so that you can see it under x-ray when you inject it. Um, it lets you see it in the body, not outside of the body. So you have to know which one's which. You have to keep careful. All right, guys, we got to turn that. Yeah. Yeah. Just draw up. Say we'll go two to one. So this is two cc's of oil to one cc of glue. It goes in, trying not to make bubbles. Very thick, it's viscous. You would then use your needle to stir it. Uh, this is water, by the way, that's why it's looking like that. It's not actually glue. It's just D5 in there, that's why it looks weird. Didn't want to waste a thousand dollars. And then, if it's, we only have three cc's, so you could use a three red. If we had more than three cc's to inject, you could use this 10, which is another polycarbonate. We'll just use that just because that's what we always use. New needle. Comes off. And you just fill it up pretty much everything. You just take it all. And you will recap it when you flush it because you don't want to inject this into anybody's eyes or on anyone. Again, it looks very weird because it's not glue. It would be clear. And that's ready. Next thing we do is this 5cc syringes. These are just regular syringes, non-polycarbonate. Um, this is D5, just pure D5. And we remember that D5 goes in the fives. Easy way to remember. And we label these afterwards as well. I usually make three. D5s is used to flush the catheter and needle before and after because this will harden in anything other than D5. Any kind of free ion, it'll make it harden. So blood, saline, anything other than D5. And then we usually get a green towel, put everything you're going to use onto the table, and you take it up to the field with new gloves on. This should all be done with your gloves. No blood on your gloves. And that's it. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah.